Welcome back. It's time for a rave review. All right, up first, if you loved the films The Talented Mr. Ripley or Saltburn, you might like Netflix's new series, Ripley. Ripley is, of course, based on the 1955 novel The Talented Mr. Ripley, and it stars Andrew Scott, Johnny Flynn, and Dakota Fanning. Remember her? Now, this is a very different version uh, than you've seen like on the, in the movies. It's very slick and it's shot like a movie. Great shots, by the way, very artistic. And guess what? It's in black and white. I think just to intensify the mood and the time period that it's set, it's very slow, it's a slow burn. Uh, take a look at the trailer. May I ask you to describe Thomas Ripley? What line of work are you in, Tom? Accounting. You're a very hard man to find. He came to Italy, moved into Dickie's house. He just wouldn't go away. You like art, Tom? You're in the right place. You like art, Tom? Well, you're in the right place. Tom is one of those people who takes advantage of people. He's taking advantage of Dickie. I have no idea what you're talking about. This is what I do for a living. You're interfering. I'd like you to leave. I bet you would. By the way, I love that song, The Great Pretender. That's great. It's great for this show, because we all know the premise. Now, this show, I will say, it's very slow. There are eight episodes. Do I feel like they could have condensed this to four episodes? Yeah, I do. I really do. But that's not here nor there. Um, Andrew Scott really like humanizes uh, this character. This, he's a very famous villain, because you've seen the movies, and this type of person. Uh, almost makes him likable, you know what I'm saying? Now. There's eight episodes, they're all out now on Netflix. Give it a chance. Now, do I feel like it's a little bit artistic for artistic sake? Yes, like what I said about that Emma Stone movie, I was just like, it's too artsy for the sake of being artsy, but it's really pretty. So check that out, all eight episodes now on Netflix. All right, let's move along now to, okay, the guys, this one. Okay, it's a new period drama starring Michael Douglas called Franklin. It debuts this Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. Now listen, okay, this drama follows Benjamin Franklin, historical Benjamin Franklin, in the eight years he was in France as he secretly tries to persuade the French to help underwrite America's democracy. I'll be honest, I didn't even know that happened, but now it's a TV show. Uh, you know I love a good period piece. I love the Downton Abbeys. I love all the things set in the olden days. I love it. But there's one thing about this show that I cannot shake. I can't shake it, but I want you to see the trailer first before I tell you what it is, see if you can pick up on just something. You are, I am, Benjamin Franklin. The Congress has sent me here as a representative of the United States to elicit France in our war against England. America requires men, money, and arms. Without your aid, the United States will end before it has begun. Grandfather, how long must we stay? Until we win France to our side. Or we are hanged. Is there a third choice? Beware the Frenchman's promise. Is everything all right? Possibly not. This is a dangerous game. That's just the sort of game I like. Okay, here's what I can't shake. One thing I can't get over, tell me, tell me if you agree or disagree. I'm watching that, I'm watching the screeners, and I'm like, that's Michael Douglas. He's dressed as Ben Franklin, but all I can hear and see is Michael Douglas. Like, he talks like Michael Douglas. He talk, I, mean, I just can't get Michael Douglas out of my head because he's so famous, and, and here's the thing too. This is, you know, 1800s. Would there be a... I feel like the language is too current or there needs to be some sort of accent from back in the day. Like it's not just us talking like we do right now. 
and we're and they're talking like this back then and it just doesn't reflect the time period in my opinion i just can't get over that it's michael douglas okay i just really can't and he's good he, he's wearing the costume he got the wig you know they're, they're trying everything uh, that's the one thing i can't get over I'm going to give it more of a chance because the first three episodes are out this Friday and then new episodes every Friday on Apple TV Plus for eight in total through May 17th. Okay, I want to move on to something because I'm very excited. This is just some TV news that I got real excited about because I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, there is some Reba McIntyre, Melissa Peterman news. And guess what? They're teaming up for a brand new sitcom. Yeah, they're back. Now, it's not going to be a reboot of Reba. They're not playing the same characters. But they have been announced to star in a new TV comedy TV show. Here's the premise. Okay. Reba's character has a father. Her father owns a bar. Her father passes away and leaves the bar to Reba. But not only does he leave the bar to Reba's character, he also leaves it to a child that Reba knew nothing about, her half-sister, that she doesn't even know about. So the half-sister and Reba take over the bar, and guess who Melissa Peterman is? She plays the sassy bartender who's worked in that bar for years. And here's the thing, I bet you can guess what's happening next. Reba and Melissa Peterman, when they're together, it is hilarity. Hilarity will ensue. People love their chemistry together. They love like the straight man with the funny man, you know, like the straight lady Reba with Melissa who's over the top. Now, this is in development stages for the pilot right now. No, there's no word on when the show will actually debut or if it's picked up to series. They're working on the pilot. And by the way, too, for a retro rave review, I've been watching the TV show Reba on Hulu. I can't believe I missed this show. Actually, I was working on cruise ships, I think, at the time when the show was out. I've been watching it. It is hilarious. How did I miss this show? This cast of characters, I love this family. If you get a chance, go and start watching Reba from the beginning. It only gets better from season one. Amazing. Uh, check that out on Hulu before the new show comes out. We don't have time to show you the trailer, but guess what, guys? Brand new mass Singer tonight. And here's the thing. Two shocking eliminations tonight. We're going back to Group A. Group A was our premiere, but guess what? We're going back after we already have our winner for Group C. The 2C people are going to the finale. Tonight, mass Singer Transformers night. There's a giant Transformer on set uh, for tonight for the mass Singer, so don't forget to check that out. All right, don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozarks Fox AM right after this.